Uh, one flew over the cuckoo's nest. All right. Hey there, old Billy Bibbit. Mm, um, that's funny. Who's Bibbit? There's a character in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Oh, shit. What's his face downstairs there? An old friend of mine oh, yeah. has gone so far down the rabbit hole of conspiracy theories that he really can't even function in society anymore. Oh, that's <laughs> relatable. Tell him to start telling jokes. He's, he is unable to hold a conversation <clears throat> for two minutes without going off on some rambling horse shit about chemtrails, Freemasons, aliens, and all of that crap. Completely oblivious to the fact that none of us are interested in hearing about all that nonsense he reads on the internet. <laughs> it used to be funny. We were driving out west a few years back, and he pointed out at some lights moving up in the sky and said, those are the aliens that follow me around. Oh. Oh, this sounds like a mental right. issue, dude. Yeah, I said, I was say. what does that sign on the right said? He said, airport next exit. And I said, yeah. Those are airplanes, you jackass. And he said, <laughs> well, maybe some of them. Wow. He goes, okay, it's been over a decade of that kind of shit, and it's gotten way, way worse. Because of this obsession and the resulting paranoia, he can't even hold down a menial job, and all of his friends oh, no. have abandoned ship. Uh, he's become addicted to painkillers. I think he already had a mental issue, man. Yeah, yeah, of course. Has been in and out of rehab centers and hospitals because of bizarre health problems and is now bordering on full-blown schizophrenia. That sucks. Well, you don't get that from reading conspiracy theory, sir. Yeah, you really kind of did a, a fucking bait and switch here with this question. That whole thing in the beginning was just like a red herring. It turns out he's got like serious mental problems. What's a red herring? It's just it's just a distraction. Exactly, oh. it's something that you think is the cause of you know. Uh, I'm not gonna explain it right because I'm tired. But oh, I gotta use that excuse sometimes when I use an expression that I can, oh Jesus, no, where's my the brain? Defense? My brain is mush. Oh, Christ, how many points does fucking Aaron Rodgers got to put up? You know, it's like Tom Brady. Same thing. How many fucking points does he got to score? You just got you know defense. Um, I want to respect his right to believe what he wants to believe, but in the end, it has only caused him to lead an increasingly miserable and lonely life that will end in a tragedy and a sparsely attended funeral unless something changes soon. So how the fuck do you bring someone back from so far over the edge? Okay, well, he might be exaggerating a little bit with the, maybe he's using schizophrenia as like a fucking filler word there like you know this guy's a narcissist no, this, this sounds, guy's a sociopath sound, no but this sounds like paranoid schizophrenia this is exactly what oh it is. dr hill are you gonna diagnose that on this fucking wonderfully well, written considering fucking that email I had, unfortunately a member of my family who went through this exact thing i do feel that i recognize it a little bit yes as a matter of fact i do okay but do you feel like that you can make that diagnosis as someone who is not a doctor no of course is not, not a comedian completely. is not even a podcaster that you can, on a podcast <laughs> done by a comedian, as not a doctor, diagnose this person that you've never met based you on this four-paragraph email. You to come in here, so I'm giving my opinion. I thought you were going to start a song. <laughs> you <laughs> asked me to come here. Are you annoyed that that lady you singing about all the ingredients? You get annoyed when black shit goes fucking mainstream and then white people ruin it? Well... <laughs> I got peas, greens, tomatoes, potatoes. That's you, you name it. it. Yeah, that thing. <laughs> you name it. Um, I swear to God, if if that's what my had a nice little week long run before everyone else. If that was my, if that's what my church was like, I would I would go every week if it was only a half hour long. I still I just can't get into the fucking. I like the singing part in black churches, but even when the the priest. Regardless of race, when they get up there and they start saying that this invisible guy gives a shit about me, that's I just I tap out. I just can't listen to it. Anyway, he wants um, you to have he Jesus Jesus wants you to have that that, that to second flat here. screen downstairs. Your friend needs professional Joel Osteen. help. You're not going to be able. I like Joel Osteen. He's a, he's a very positive guy. Um, um, well, you know something. He's been out there long enough that you'd think if there was a scandal, it would come out by now, right? Mm-hmm. Um. This your friend needs professional help. This is beyond your um this is beyond your pay grade. Jesus, don't shit on the guy. He might have just been being funny just because No, 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 no. I'm not shitting on him. I'm saying that your his friend needs help and this is not anything that he is qualified to do. So, cuz he's That's a not much nicer way of saying saying it's beyond your pay grade. Hey buddy, why don't you get go pick up your broom and keep <laughs> <No>. sweeping up. <laughs> this is the job of people with lab coats. 
Um, Wait, hold on a second. But what is he? He said like. I respect his right to believe what he wants to believe, but in the end, da, 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 da. yeah, I don't, I don't even think he necessarily maybe even believes believes it. He's just got, yeah, he's yeah, he's become addicted to painkillers. Has been in and out of rehab centers and hospitals because of bizarre health problems. Yeah, he is now bordering on full blown schizophrenia. Yeah, I think you just got to be there for him, but maybe just check in on him and say, hey, are you taking your meds? Are you going to see your doctor? That type of thing, but you're, I don't think you're going to be able to like help him with this. It's just, hey, this is help beyond him. you. <laughs> is that what I just said? <laughs> yeah. Like? You know what's fucking cool as shit? <clears throat> the Redskins still have a band and they actually have a team song. I think that's fucking cool. It's a professional level for some reason that all went away. I hope our baby doesn't get your ADD. Why? It's worked great for me. Has it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it has. You name it. <laughs> I play drums, fly helicopters, tell jokes. You name it. <laughs> <clears throat> ADD is is a fucking great thing to have. It sucks with some shit, but it's it's it sucks when you're in school and you're gonna do poorly in school and everyone's gonna say you're fucking dumb. But when you get out in the world, man, it's fucking tremendous. It's tremendous. <laughs> I know. I run around all have, day you long. You don't have it very so. You don't have it like severely though. You wow. are able to. You focus just fucking. On you, you just get. You know. You even got the lab glasses on tonight, don't you? <laughs> just fucking diagnosing everything. How do you know what I have it as? Remember when we <laughs> tried to do that ADD questionnaire and you couldn't even pay attention long enough <laughs> to, <laughs> to answer the question? Yeah, but part of that was because I was annoyed with it. <laughs>